I'm Vincent. Welcome back. You probably just finished up project 2, which is slightly more complicated than the previous projects because now you actually have to code. Regardless on how much you already know how to code, practice makes perfect. So let's take on a modification that will require us to understand and alter our code. So let's try reversing the actions. As in, if the button is pressed, then the red LED should flash and the green LED should turn off. If the button is pressed, then the green LED should remain on and everything else should turn off. I encourage you to try this yourself. So pause the video here. Now, in this mod, I won't explain in detail the actual setup because you likely understand it already after reading or watching project two. So let's take a look at our code instead. As you can see, the switch state is set to low or off. The switch state basically accounts for the status of the push button. If it is pressed, the switch state should become high or another value. By default, it is set to low. As you can see, the push button is connected to pin 2, which is also labeled as input, which basically means something from the outside decides how much voltage the pin has. As you can see, the push button is connected to the yellow wire, and if it's pressed, it completes the circuit. And the voltage of pin 2 is also read by the digital read method, which is over here in the loop function. Now let's look, take a look at the if statement. If the button is pressed, then of course the green LED should turn on and the isn't pressed, I mean, the green LED should be on and the rest of the LED should be off. Now, if the button is pressed, then the red LED should flash and the green LED should remain off. This is basically a pseudo version of what I just said. And this will act as our game plan. So how do we reverse our actions? Well, first let's look at the default where a button isn't pressed. In our reversal, the red button should be, the red LED should be on or flashing and the green LED should be off. So let's change that. So red LEDs are flashing and green LEDs are in our reversal, what happens if we push the button? Well, the red LED should remain off and the green LED should be on. So let's change that. So red LEDs are off and green LEDs are on. And we're not basically done. It was really that easy. Now, reversing our code, actual code now, is pretty easy as well. Because if we look at look back at our game plan, we realize that we just switched the default and holding the button around. In our code, it's really not that different. We previously already coded the flashing red lights in project 2. So we really just need to move this entire chunk of code in the else in the else statement to the front. So Let's move it up because that code basically means that the red LEDs are flashing and the green LEDs are off. So we just need to move it up there, like our pseudocode said. And just like our pseudocode, if our button, I mean, if our button is pressed, then the green LED should be on and the red LED should be off. So let's move that as well. And as you can see now, we basically just reversed our code or just moved just switched them the if and the else statements around and that's basically what the reversal basically did so now if we test it you can see that if the button isn't pressed then the red leds are flashing and if the button is pressed then the green led would remain on so you can see that's not reversed now if you want more practice, I encourage you to rewrite this code rather than revise, revi rather than copy and pasting it so you can get a better understanding and practice of coding. Regardless, knowing what your code does, especially with pseudocode, is especially helpful for understanding what to change.